to his right is Adrian Tamplin from Australia, who's the second referee. We await the national anthem of Brazil. national anthem. there by the Portuguese players singing the national anthem with gusto all holding hands together so Plata there to the right of your picture the FIFA president Michel Platini still in discussion with the man on Rosette Final handshakes. The team of all time, arguably, Brazil. Three times futsal world champions. They've only ever been beaten twice in serious competition. What a test it will prove for those men. Portugal, delighted to get to futsal 2000. Unbelievably, they've made it now to the semi-finals. Let's go through the two teams then, starting with Brazil. Familiar starting five, Lavoisia, Manuel Tobias, the player of all time perhaps in futsal. Fininho, Schumacher, Linicio, all big names, all capable of rising to the big occasion when they have to. Final pep talk for Portugal. They're without their strong man at the back, Ivan, who is currently injured. He's on the bench, but he's wearing a big knee brace. He will take no part. Orlando Duarte, their coach, has done exceptionally well with a group of players who have got great talent and now great belief. Duarte there nearest the camera. The first semi-final between Spain and Russia was a nervous 
affair. It was settled just eight seconds from time. Spain grabbing their winner from a free kick. But there's a thunderous atmosphere in El Domo now. Vanda, the Brazilian coach there, three times he's been to the final and won as a player. He skipped the Brazilian side. Now he's leading him as their coach. His predecessor, Taco, is here amongst the FIFA delegation looking at how the game of futsal can be improved. Here we go then. It's Brazil versus Portugal, the second semi-final. And we're underway. Portugal wearing those familiar maroon shirts. Brazil in the even more familiar yellow and blue. Vinicio scored some marvellous goals during the championship. Brazil have scored some stunning goals during the championship, but so too have Portugal. And they've created the first opening. Arnaldo with a snapshot there, which was well dealt with by Lavoisier. Back come Brazil. End to end already. Vinicio firing wide. Vitinha there just uh, able to tee up. Arnaldo, who has had a good tournament. Arnaldo just aged 21. And Arnaldo up for the test here, up for the challenge. Again, he was able to get a yard on his marker, who was Schumacher there. Andrea also impressive for Portugal. It's already a high tempo. Fernino on the ball. Schumacher making the angle. Good recovery by Schumacher. Schumacher! Fine stop by Nana. Well, Schumacher has been exceptional for Brazil. So too has Nana, the Portuguese goalkeeper. Here come Brazil again. Vinicio. And Manuel Tobias! Oh, side netting. He has an electrifying turn of foot. When that move started, he was on the halfway line, but he was still able to get forward and to get into a position to get in ahead of his marker. Arnaldo there was caught cold. But Portugal have another opportunity. Oh, and it clipped the top of the crossbar. Terrific drive by Andrea. He knows he was very, very close there to giving Portugal a surprise lead. Lovely layoff. Miguel Mota just teeing him up there. Here come Brazil. Schumacher, that's twice he stood on the ball. Even the occasion is getting to Schumacher, who's been so assured for Brazil in these championships. There's a great feeling of anticipation around El Domo here. Both these sides like to attack. They met earlier in the competition. They met in the second game in Group N. Goal has been ruled out. Well, there's plenty happening here. Won't stand. It stays nil-nil. It was nil-nil at half-time when these met in Group A. You can see here when the ball is played in, it was fired in, but uh, there the official, the senior official, Felix Chavez on the far side, just indicating that Brazil had taken too much time over the kick-in. Four seconds allowed. Here they come again. Here come Brazil once more, and this time they've got the goal! It's Manuel Tobias again! There's no stopping this man. Top scorer in the championship four years ago, player of the tournament four years ago, and top scorer of the 2000 championship. Surging run forward, and there was Manuel Tobias just to steer the ball beyond Nana's reach. Well, we just mentioned that in Group A, when these two teams met previously, it was goalless until half-time. It's taken Brazil less than two and a half minutes to get ahead here. 
17 goals now for Manuel Tobias in these championships. And that after Portugal had given them a big scare. Andrea hitting the bar. Good save. Nana had to hold the ball there. Fernino it was who created the opening. Some nice trick of the, there by Andrea. Manuel Tobias on the ball. Here's Linicio. Great work by Linicio. Manuel Tobias, second chance. Fernino. Now Schumacher. Brilliant one handed save there by Nana. Well, he just mops the perspiration off his brow. It promises to be a hot night for him and for Portugal. It's a hot night already for Brazil. But here come Portugal. And they've got a chance. He must score, but he can't. What a recovery by Lavoisier there from Miguel Moto. And solid work in defence there by Vitinha. Well, Portugal should know that you've got to take your chances against Brazil, but they were denied a goal there by Lavoisier. Great save, but Miguel Moto may feel that he should have scored. Nana also outstanding to deny Brazil. Brilliant save. Fernino. Now, how on earth did that stand? Well, Portugal have the kick in, but I'm not too sure if that clipped the post or if it caught Nana on the hand. Vitinha. May a well forward here for Portugal. Good goalkeeping by Lavo is here, aware that he couldn't handle outside his. Penalty D. Timely interception there by Teigeda. Back come Portugal. Oh, it's so fast and it's so furious. It's almost too quick now. Nolito there was spinning around. This was the earlier opportunity for Portugal and Miguel Moto. And then what happened here? It's so quick, it's difficult to judge, even at slow motion. Shot from Fernino, which span wide. Vitinha. Now Nelito. Great work by Nelito. Solid stop by Fernino. Here they come again. Deflection there off Mayo as Nelito tried to hold the ball up for him on the edge of the defensive D. Samba beat is ringing out. Brazil on the attack once more. Schumacher, one of the players of the tournament, and he scored a lot of goals for a defender. He's very nearly got one here. Just a great save from Nana. Oh, and the goalkeeper was down again quickly. Lenicio denied Nana for once not accepting the credit. And Nana not too happy with some of the cover he received there, one or two accusing looks and accusing glances. What a tournament he has had, what a tournament Portugal have had. He really has had a good tournament, the coach there, Duarte, done so well with his team. Back come Brazil, Manuel Tobias, lovely control. Lenicio couldn't connect and back come Portugal once more. Nelito well forward. Desperate measures felt necessary by Lavoisier, who is having a go at Manuel Tobias. Even the great man occasionally gets an ear bashing from his goalkeeper. Mayo. Oh, that was a poor pass. Expecting a lot of take aid at. He's always overstretching, and that's given the initiative back to Brazil. Schumacher. Manuel Tobias. It was languid in his style, but there was nothing languid about that shot, which Nana had to turn over the top. Brilliant atmosphere in El Domo tonight. Brilliant action on the pitch as well. Manuel Tobias. Here come Brazil again, and Schumacher just able to connect. Incisive that from Brazil. 
everybody involved, all four outfield players. First time passing at its best. And Manuel Tobias there covering so much ground. Well, he's the star for Brazil. He scores most of their goals, but he does his share of defending. He reads the game very, very well, as does the man on the ball at the moment, Schumacher. Lenicia. Now Manuel Tobias. Fininho offering an option. Here comes Fininho. Schumacher now. Delightfully done by Schumacher. He's not at his best when he's on his left foot. He much prefers to strike with the right foot. But what a right foot he's got. Scored some stunning goals. Misplaced pass means that Portugal have to build again from the back. No nonsense clearance by Vitinha, which ricocheted against Lenicio. Lenicio scored twice when Portugal were beaten 4-0 by Brazil in Group A. Banda and Anderson, the other two goal scorers. And here's Vitinha. Another old pick, which has been wasted. Arnaldo this time well forward. Three good chances for Portugal now. Andrea is at the bar. Miguel Moto has been denied by La Boisia. Now Arnaldo is shot wide. Brazil lead though through Manuel Tobias. And now they've got a second chance. Oh, another fine save. Wonderful goalkeeping by Nana. Ball and feet ahead of him there just seemed to be a blur as Lenicio threatened. Brilliant goalkeeping again and fantastic footwork there by Lenicio. There's a blur of uh, moving feet then. The movement didn't deceive the goalkeeper there. Oh, but Portugal momentarily guilty of giving the ball away. Fine challenge there by Schumacher. Fininho is Manuel Tobias. Fininho again. Great artistry from Fininho with his left foot. Vinicio. Schumacher. Manuel Tobias. Fininho again. Couldn't make the most of the return pass. Here come Portugal once more. Great skills there from Andrea. And Vinicio stands on the ball. Portugal getting forward with increasing confidence. Brazil have made a substitution, unusual for them. Lenicio has gone off to be replaced by Vanda. Cariocha Vanda, no relation to the coach. Benigno. Manuel Tobias. More patient approach here from Brazil. Manuel Tobias eager to keep the tempo high. It's been relentless in this first half. Now the players have a breather while mopping up operations are completed. Schumacher. Vitinha with a foot in to deny Banda. Fininho. Here's Manuel Tobias. Banda making a move forward for him. Still with Manuel Tobias. Great work by Tobias. Important block by Miguel Moto. Oh, but they've given the ball away too easily. And another wondrous save there by Nana. This time to deny Banda. It's absorbing to watch, you can't take your eyes off the action. Relentless pressure from Brazil. And that was a judge to have been a foul, but I felt there that Arnaldo was leaning against Fininho. Fininho unhappy with the decision. And he's down right in front of the Brazilian substitutor, encouraging him to get up. 
Well, there wasn't an arm just holding him off there. He's back on his feet now, and he's back on the ball. Andrea. Now Mayo has grown in confidence during these championships, as have Portugal. Portugal had a difficult start. They were playing Guatemala, the host, but they beat Guatemala 6-2. They were beaten by Brazil, but then they went on to beat Kazakhstan. The second phase, they beat Holland, they lost to Spain, and they beat Croatia. They've been beaten only by the best two teams in the world. It has to be remembered as well that Portugal qualified from a very strong qualifying group, a group which included Italy, who went to the finals in both 92 and 96. Approaching the midway point now in the first half. We've seen some terrific entertainment already. Brazil so comfortable on the ball, always eager to get forward. Portugal at times stringing three across the middle of the pitch. They've got the ability, as have Brazil, to attack with great acceleration. Aldo and Andrea are particularly comfortable on the ball for Portugal. And here come Portugal once more with Mayo. Final ball to Pedro Costa, that was a poor one. And two options there because Tegueda had got well forward for Portugal. Brazil with the bulk of possession, just. It's been very even. Schumacher now. Just shrugged the challenge there from Nelito aside. Manuel Tobias, Schumacher once more. Nelito sticking to him. Tegueda in there for Portugal to try and toughen things up a little bit. Give them a, a firmer defensive block. Lander anticipating a bit more movement now from Brazil. Schumacher, Brazil with two inside the D, one of them has pulled out of the D now. Falco is also on for Brazil. Falco, like Schumacher, one of the stars of the tournament. He's got some mesmerizing skills. His footwork is exceptional. His ability to control this futsal ball is incredible. Futsal ball is heavier than a normal football. Here come Portugal once more. Nelito, he's got Mayo ahead of him. Nicely done by Nelito. Pedro Costa. Tegueda making an angle for him. He had nowhere to go there. He was closed down very quickly by Schumacher. Manuel Tobias, he's got Bander ahead of him. Important header clear and then an important clearance and a touch by Tegueda. Tegueda who plays 11 aside in the Portuguese second division. Nowadays futsal players specialise in the indoor game. They certainly do in Brazil, where Manuel Tobias is the highest earner and where attendances can sometimes reach 20,000. Falcao. Now Schumacher. Another good stop by Nana. Got down very quickly. Portugal changing their approach there with the long ball out of defence. Trying to press Mayo well forward. Now he's back to cover the intended run by Van Depp. Hey. 
continue. The skipper just holding on to the ball while Portugal make a substitution. Mayo has gone off. Ronaldo has come on and he took a tumble there inside the Brazilian D. Manuel Tobias gesturing to the official on the near side, Adrian Tamplin, feeling there that maybe Ronaldo should have been shown a yellow card. Falcao. Here's Schumacher. Manuel Tobias, quickly closed down by Vitinha. Another opportunity for Manuel Tobias, but he's, he's given the ball away to Vitinha. And Vitinha there with the pace to get beyond Manuel Tobias and to get through the challenge as well from Falcao. But Manuel Tobias able to recover the situation for Brazil. Good work there by Andrea to get back and nip in ahead of Falcao. It's been a very good and very open first half. Much better than the early affair between Spain and Russia. Both Spain and Russia a bit tentative. Brazil have now decided it's time for a timeout. The winners here will play Spain. Spain have beaten Russia here earlier today, 3-2. Vander, the Brazilian coach, calling his players over. One timeout of one minute per team in each half. It's so quick, the players need a breather. The clock is stopped. When the ball is off the pitch, it's stopped again when we have a timeout. 20 minutes of action, timed in the first half and in the second half. But the breathers, when they come, are most welcome. So we're all set to get underway again. Mexican wave is now going around El Doma. Fabulous party atmosphere in here. Everybody's enjoyed what they've seen so far. Dramatic conclusion to the first semi-final. This is a far more attractive game. Two much more attractive teams. La Bruce to come a long way out of his goal there, but he's done well, and here's Schumacher, and Vanda, another fine save, but Schumacher won't be denied. Oh dear, oh dear, he says. Schumacher has got the second goal for Brazil. You have to assume now that they're on their way. But blood is pouring there from a cut, and I think it happened after the celebration started. Nice finish by Schumacher. Got the first pass through towards Vander, and he was the quickest to react there, just getting in ahead of Arnaldo. And there's a real concern here because blood is pouring out of a cut, I think, on his hand. Yes, looks very nasty. Well, this is, well, this is a, a major concern for Brazil. He won't be allowed to continue if he's bleeding like that. And I suspect it might have been a ring, was it? Or, or when he was um, celebrating the goal. But he's got to go to the dressing rooms for some assistance. Brazilians are, are currently arguing. I think they're trying to make the point that they want to make the substitution. Blood there on the back of Van der shirt. Van der Deed's cleaning up as well. What a sensational first half we've had here. Schumacher has given Brazil a 2-0 advantage, but he's also off the pitch now, receiving some attention. And he went down rather heavily there. And you can see there there's blood all over his hand. It was after he started to celebrate the goal. But the smiles quickly turning to looks of concern. 
Barker. Arnaldo with a footing. Arnaldo again. Vitinha. Andrea. Nice approach play from Portugal. There's a lot of urgency about their play. Andrea. Arnaldo well forward here for Portugal. Arnaldo making a, another run. Closely watched there by Falcao. Andrea is on for Brazil. The skipper doesn't start their games, interestingly enough. have the kick in. Vanda once more. Oh, he did so well there to get away from Vitinha. Another fine stop by Nana. Nana has been in magnificent form and he had to be on top form there to get that effort from Vanda away. Falco. Anderson. Brazil again. Hit long this time by Lavoisia. Vander making the point that he wants the ball played into his feet. Oh, a mistake there, which is presented. Falco with a chance to test Nana. Nelito will be very, very relieved that Portugal got away with that. Nelito a bit too casual. And there, there was a handball by Vander. Vander still with blood on the back of his shirt. I think that's why we had the, the hold-up after the second goal was scored. Schumacher going off for attention to a hand injury. Vander with a big patch of blood on his back. Vander was always celebrating with Schumacher and that's when the problem occurred. spoken to. Brazil have a free kick. Anderson is over the free kick. Falcao perhaps well placed to exploit any layoff. Oh, Nana just got a hand to it. Well, the goalkeeper perhaps foxed Anderson there. He pulled players out of the defensive wall, aware that Brazil were making three different angles there, but the best angle was the direct shot at goal, and Nana responded to it. Nana had decided to, to pull players out of the defensive wall. He had two in it initially, but here come Brazil again. Oh, wonderfully done. Andrea, the skipper. Oh, it's getting better and better for Brazil. Portugal started with promise, but the promise has now evaporated. That's three for Brazil. The skipper there just skipping through and someone had to beat Nana again and this time it was Nana who was beaten by the incoming man there, Andrea. just indicating to Chavez that he's got to calm it down a little bit. Well, the last time we saw Anderson take a, a free kick from this range, Nana produced a breathtaking save. Change of approach, though, by Brazil.
Nana with a huge throw out caught by his opposite number Laboricia. Here come Brazil again. Banda. Now Falcao. Not too many opportunities for him to shine so far. Anderson. Andrea. Banda. Lots of poor clearance by Laboricia. Brazil with plenty of support here, even amongst the neutrals. They've been a joy to watch. Portugal have been a joy to watch. Portugal trying to increase the tempo. Arnaldo well forward. Andrea across to cover. slide it under Nana. Three goals to nil, Brazil lead. That will be a foul against Indu. Andrea, the Portuguese Andrea, is sent spinning. Just over a minute and a half of the first half remaining. Vitinha over the free kick. It was a poor one. But now there's another chance. And Andrea shot agonizingly close to the sole of Miguel Moto's boot. Vitinha. Andrea. Wanted too much time on the ball. This was a good chance, eventually, for Portugal. Shot was going wide. And incoming Miguel Moto nearly connected. Portugal acutely aware that time is running out for them now at the end of the first half. They've had their chances. Andrea hit the bar when it was goalless. A goal for Portugal, though, really could widen things up. We always believe that Brazil have a little bit in hand. They have been tested, though, in this championship. They were tested by Argentina had the score at 2-1 for a long time. Vitinha. Nicely worked. Andrea. It's a solid challenge, that. Too solid. The foul count now is five against Brazil. One more, and they will concede a penalty from the 10-metre mark. They're inside the last minute. Solid defence by Andrea. If they're going to score, they'll have to score now. Miguel Mota. Vitinha. Andrea. Produced a save from Laboricia, shot may well have been going wide, but Laboricia was not to know that. Adopts this unusual crouching position whenever he has a, a set piece to defend. And here come Brazil. Oh, surely now another one will wrap it up. What a fine save that was by Nana. And what an effort it was from Falcao. An electrifying burst of acceleration by Falcao. Nana. Very, very impressive in goal for Portugal. Goalkeeper now aged 31, plays for the Mana Club. Brazil, even though they lead 3-0, they're not taking any chances. We come to the 
end of a terrific first half. Yet more fine entertainment from both Brazil and from Portugal, who've played their part. They had the better openings, Andrea hitting the bar early on. But almost inevitably, it's Brazil who've got the goals. Manuel Tobias, Schumacher, and then Andrea. Brazil know that they're on their way. They're on their way to their fourth consecutive World Futsal Final. And at half-time here in El Damo, it's Brazil 3, Portugal 0. Welcome back from me, Tony Jones, here in El Domo, the second semi-final. At half-time, it's Brazil 3, Portugal 0. The winners play Spain. The goal scorers, Manuel Tobias, Schumacher and Andrea. Schumacher, unlikely to take any further part in this game, he's been taken to hospital. He has broken his finger, celebrating the second goal, the goal which he scored with Vanda, but the news is not good. If you were watching earlier, you will have seen a lot of blood, and the word is that Vanda is off to hospital for surgery. One wonders now whether he'll be fit enough to compete in the final on Sunday. 
should Brazil get through. Brazil should get through. They lead by three goals to nil. The second half now underway. Banda on the ball. Now back to Anderson. Here is Banda who celebrated a bit too enthusiastically with Schumacher when Brazil went two up. Falcao confronted by Arnaldo. Anderson ball forward. Banda. Now Falca. Very busy start to the second half by Brazil. Portugal know that they've got to get possession. They've got to get the ball. They've got to try and get a goal early in this second half to have any hope of making further progress. Banda has changed his shirt at half time. For much of the first half, there was a patch of blood on his back. It was a, a nasty injury for Schumacher. Within seconds of celebrating a second goal, Brazil were looking with some concern at Schumacher's hand. He's been one of their inspirations during this championship. Now will they have to finish it without him? It'll be a bitter, bitter blow for him and for his teammates. Banda, nice turn there, but he's unable to, to make any further progress, he has to go backwards. Coutinho, now Arnaldo. Falcao with the kick in. Banda trying to hold the ball up for... Falcao, and here is Falcao. Andrea. Anderson now with an opportunity to maybe stretch out and get beyond Andrea. Andrea here closed down by Arnaldo. Second chance for Andrea. Real ping about that pass from Anderson towards. Andrea, but such is the strength of these Brazilians on the ball. Even though the ball was hit with great pace, it wasn't a problem for Andrea, the skipper. Vitinha now for Portugal. No way through for Vitinha. Portugal encouraging Arnaldo forward. And there, there was a a mix-up between Miguel Moto and Arnaldo. Their understanding in these championships has been good. The understanding particularly between Arnaldo and Andrea has been exceptional. The two who combined so well for Portugal. Numbers five and seven. Anderson well forward. By Nana's standards, a fairly comfortable save. Andrea. Here's Arnaldo. Miguel Mota. There's a foul there. Falcao, the first to acknowledge that the foot was left in. Andrea back on his feet. You can see the tiredness in the eyes already. The first half was played at a terrific pace. You'd expect nothing less from Brazil or for, from Portugal for that matter. Portugal here with four substitutes on the touchline, all eager to get into the action. But while Portugal have got possession and they're pressing like this, those changes will not be made. Terrific work there by Arnaldo! And the ball just spiralled away from Miguel Mota. Cleverly done that by Falca. Andrea. Anderson, who's come in place of Schumacher who's been taken to hospital having broken a finger a good opening here for Portugal at the start of the second half ball just span away from Miguel Moto 
It's another good chance for Portugal as Teigueda goes close. Lambrusia there with a thing or two to say to some of his teammates. Push there by Mayo. Uh, what must be going through his mind at the moment? Orlando Duarte, the Portuguese coach, has been impressed with the way in which his team have performed, but they need to find something extra here against the world champions. Manuel Tobias with the free kick, which takes a deflection. No real urgency at the moment from Brazil. They must feel now that their job is done. Hoisted forward by Lavoisier. Some of his clearances have been poor. Mayo. Tegueda. Nelito has pressed forward here for Portugal. Anderson there with the timely intervention. Tegueda threatening this time for Portugal. Mayo on the ball. Another hefty clearance. Vander it was who banged the ball into touch. And it was Vander who was involved in the incident in the first half after Schumacher had scored the second goal. Now here, as he tumbles, a lot of damage was done. A lot of damage. Nasty hand injury there to Schumacher. You can see the blood. And we understand that Schumacher has broken bone in his hand or a finger and he's been taken to hospital for x-rays and having seen that blood one assumes that if he has broken a finger it will need to be pinned and if it's pinned one wonders if he'll be available for Brazil for the final on Sunday here come Brazil again with their talisman Manuel Tobias attempts on goal now for Brazil 25 of them on target not a bad job this by Portugal in some ways Brazil in outstanding form outstanding goal scoring form 29-2 they beat Guatemala they got 12 against both Kazakhstan and Egypt they averaged 11 a game. They even beat the European champions, Russia, 6-2. The ball clearance by Lavoisier. Never looks too comfortable when he's kicking the ball away. Tegeda. Well, when they have to be brutal, they are brutal. They play the beautiful game, but it was a very ugly clearance. Tegeda. Almir with first clearance for Brazil. Here can Brazil once more with their skipper, Andrea. Almir, now Banda. Brazil. Almir. Now Vander. 
closely watched by Vitinha. Andrea with a shot, and that was a hopeful opportunity for Nana, spotting there that Lavoisio was off his goal line. is ticking down and Portugal's spirit somewhat broken they trail by three goals to nil they failed to score against Brazil when these two teams met in Group A then it was goalless at half time and Brazil scored at four inside the last 12 minutes to win the game here they've almost certainly got the game wrapped up by half time or have they there's another chance for Portugal and Portugal paying the price for not being able to take their chances. Zezito, and fine save there by Lavoisia to get the ball away from Pedro Costa. Oh, incredible goal! Oh, goal! No wonder he's celebrating. Banda milks the applause. Lavoisia having denied Portugal and having denied Pedro Costa suddenly sees the ball launched upfield and Brazil and Portugal now have settled it because fourth goal for Brazil just 12 minutes remaining and that must be enough we've got a bit of a hold up here because the goal frame has come apart yet again so there's got to be some repair work Vanda Vanda the player who in the first half was involved in the incident with Schumacher which led to his teammate going to hospital with a broken finger it's an injury which might keep him out of the championship now there's a problem with the goal frame for the second time this afternoon. It happened in the first semi-final when Russia's Edomenko span into the goal net and brought it down. But what a goal that was for Brazil. Fourth goal, which has wrapped things up for them. Moments after Lavoisia had made that save and a huge clearance by Vanda. 4-0 to Brazil. And as Nana went charging into the net, he brought the goal net down. Well, there's a considerable hold-up here because the frame was was rather suspect after the first incident in the first semi-final. And now extensive repair work necessary. Not easy for the players, this. They want to keep their concentration. Brazil want to keep the momentum going. But the delay is going to be a long one. The clock has stopped with 12 minutes and 11 seconds remaining. This is the fourth goal. Lavo is here with the save, and then Vanda, deep inside his own half, launching the ball beyond Nana and into the back of the net. 4-0 to Brazil. Well, this is rather worrying because, presumably, if the goal can't be repaired, the game will have to be abandoned. The frame was weakened, there's no doubt about that, during the first semi-final. Yeremenko, the Russian, went flying into the net in much the same way that Nana, the Portuguese goalkeeper, went flying into the net. And another goal is being brought out, much to the delight of the crowd here. At long last, the repair job will be complete. But how long will it take? The players sensibly are just knocking a ball around, just trying to keep their concentration. It's not been easy for them, this delay. The whole goal is going to have to be taken out. A team of stadium staff have taken charge. The 
they'll have to unscrew the entire goal frame, and that will take some time. Then they will have to replace it and screw the new one back in place. It's been a well-organised championship. It's been a very good championship. But now, in the second semi-final, there is a problem. Stadium staff doing their best to make the delay as short as possible. But it will be some time before this goal is repaired. It's a very solid frame, but it's taken a bit of a battering during these two semi-finals. Just to remind you, the first semi-final was won by Spain, beaten finalists four years ago. They beat Russia 3-2. We had a dramatic conclusion to that first semi-final. A goal for Daniel, just eight seconds from the end, enough to take Spain through. There's Sepp Blatter, the FIFA president, who's here for the weekend, here to see the semi-finals and the final again on Sunday. Surely now that final will be between Spain and Brazil, a repeat of 1996. Mr. Blatter fascinated by the operation currently going on to the, in the goal to his left. Michel Platini also here. Former French skipper is now a FIFA advisor. Platini treating the situation with Gallic indifference but it's been a real concern for the players out there because the longer the time goes on they will start to feel cold it's been a, a hot and humid afternoon in the main arena frantic handiwork going on to try and replace the frame at least the second goal is now in place. The senior referee, Felix Chavez of Argentina, is coming across to check the situation out. Several FIFA officials there in the, the sky blue blazers behind the goal, just making sure that the goal is the regulation height. There is Felix Chavez senior official here for this game. Two referees in futsal. The other one there, just on the left of that picture, was Adrian Tamplin. They're also having a word with uh, Rennie Del Cid, the third official. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, he's thinking. His team have done so well to get this far. They'll reflect, perhaps, on the miss by Andrea in the first half. He hit the bar when it was goalless. But surely there is no way back now for Portugal. The trail by four goals to nil. The fourth goal coming after Portugal had perhaps their best chance in the second half. He knows that he's on the way to his fourth final, this time as coach. Three times he's been there as a winning captain. Everybody glancing anxiously at their watches, though. It's been a considerable delay now. But it would be a brave man who would abandon this particular game. The stadium has been ringing out to the Samba beat for much of the second half. Brazil with good support here. And that goal friend getting a bit of good support too. semi-final, Russia took the lay through Borishnikov, their skipper, they had a chance to make it 2-0, but Paolo Roberto equalised for Spain, it was 1-1 at half-time, Daniel, who scored in every goal in the or every game in the competition so far, rather, made it 2-1 then for Spain. 
Varishnikov equalised 2-2 and then Daniel pounced eight seconds from the end of normal time and it looked as though we were heading towards extra time a golden goal possibly or maybe penalties and Spain go through to the final just as they did four years ago Finally, Seb Blatter can turn his attention to what's happening out in the middle. We're all set to kick off. Brazil now lead by four goals to nil. Just over 12 minutes of the second half remaining. 4-0. It was 4-0 when these two teams met in Group A. Brazil then scoring four in 12 minutes. It's unlikely that... Portugal will now be able to score four in just under 12 minutes to try and turn this around. But they've enjoyed a very good tournament. They've exceeded expectations. Pedro Costa. Zezita. Bored by Bettina. Manuel Tobias. Almir. Indu. Manuel Tobias, they're just allowing the ball to roll away from his foot. But still, Portugal can't press home the advantage. They might be punished once more. Good goalkeeping. Fine save that by Nana to deny Manuel Tobias wasn't deceived by the nifty footwork and here come Portugal again Pedro Costa Zizito just ahead of him great goalkeeping here again by Nana who has excelled for Portugal throughout the championship he might be angry with himself though that he strayed a bit too far on his goal line when Vanda launched the ball upfield to get the fourth goal for Brazil. At 3-0 there might perhaps have been some hope. At 4-0, surely it's game set and match almost for Brazil. Almir just holding off Zezito. Manuel Tobias. Almir again. Gaeta to come forward here for Portugal and he was a bit upset there he felt that he was checked on the way through by Manuel Tobias Adrian Tamplin the official on the near side was unimpressed Indu it was a bad angle for him in the end and he was just complaining there about the treatment he received from Zezito strong running by Tegeda Oh. Well, Lavarusia now with a bang in the face. Another good chance, though, for Portugal. They've had several good opportunities. Tegeda strong and full of running. And that was a really nasty blow to the face for Lavarusia, who's now back on his feet. Goalkeeper shaken back to his senses. Oh, great turn by Mayo. Finish was a poor one, though. Paul just seemed to, to skid away from his foot then. Also had Rogerio Santos forward and offering good support. Here come Brazil again. Manuel Tobia, surely now. Not quite. Tegeda did well. But another incisive break by Brazil. play with power and they play with real purpose great individual skills but also collectively very very impressive fantastic understanding now between these players and now Mir has got another one for them number five for Brazil they get their share of goals and here they've been sharing the goals out Almir they're making the most of the layoff from Andrea it's such an easy and effective tactic, this. 
ball just held up for him and once he was off the mark he was always going to beat the defender who was facing him difficult for defenders to turn in those situations and Portugal punished once more Manuel Tobias great save by Nana second effort took a deflection Brazil have the corner only Almir's second goal at this championship Teigeda chance for Teigeda easy stop for Lavois he was taken wide there by Almir good covering by Mayer solid run by Mayer what a solid solid challenge that was too from Almir time denying him any progress down the touchline Andrea now Manuel Tobias cleverly done by Indu and Indu is also backing into Vitinha Portugal have the free kick one way or another it's been quite an eventful game broken goal frame and also a broken finger for Schumacher, one of the stars of this Brazilian team at Futsal 2000. Schumacher celebrating a goal. He's broken his finger, he's been taken to hospital presumably for surgery. And now there's a question mark over whether or not he'll be available for the final on Sunday. Brazil will want him in there, he'll want to be there. Here against Portugal, they not faring too badly without him. Such talent in this Brazilian squad. Dominated the second half. Dominated the second half with only really a shadow of their best five out there. Most of the tournament they've started with Manuel Tobias and Lavoisia and Fernino. Vinicio up front. We haven't seen too much of Vinicio in this game. Santos in those distinctive yellow boots. Portugal start to build again. Andrea. Now Miguel Moto. Here's Rogério Santos. Another opportunity for Andrea to try and create something. Solid block by Andrea, the skipper. Will he be? Lifting the trophy on Sunday. Brazil are on their way again to another Futsal World Final. They've dominated the sport, but the game is growing now. 70 teams were involved in qualifying compared to 46 in 1996. FIFA are hopeful that all their associations will be involved in four years' time when it's also hoped that Futsal will go to the Olympics switch and goal now for Brazil deciding to make a change opportunity for Franklin to get a run out Manuel Tobias Almir Indu Andrea. Andrea has continued the forward run. He couldn't quite thread the ball through towards Indu, and there's some defending for Brazil to do here. Indu chasing back. Andrea. Brazil have the roll in from their goalkeeper.
Brazil, only ever beaten twice in competitive matches. By far the strongest team in the world. Could they be challenged this year by Spain? Spain, who were defeated by Brazil in the final four years ago, and who this afternoon have beaten the European champions, Russia, by three goals to two. Portugal trying to bring Nolito on. But for the moment, they've got the ball and they're making good use of it. Mayo. Thumping drive by Andrea. That wasn't too far away. It certainly gave Franklin, the substitute goalkeeper, something to think about. Set up nicely that for Andrea by Miguel Moto. Juan. Terrific cross will pass that to Indu. Juwan just unable to get forward quickly enough. He's being held up there by Andrea, who tracked back a long way to prevent Indu supplying the player who'd originally got the big front man away. Juwan. Juwan on the ball. Now Manuel Tobias. Andrea. Brazil still very workmanlike. Mayo. Arnaldo now. Clever play by Arnaldo. Needs to be a yellow card here for the skipper, Andrea. Rather unnecessary caution that for Andrea. Portugal now have a free kick in a very inviting position. Sometimes better to hit the target from that far out. Mayo, that was poor. And Mayo disappointed there with the, the pass he received from Ronaldo, suggesting that there needs to be a bit more urgency about Portugal's play. But they're now a beaten side. Four minutes remain. That perhaps sums up their second half now. The coach wants to make another couple of changes for Portugal. Here they come again. But also, here come Brazil again. Indu. Solid challenge there by Mayo. Andrea on the ball. No foul. Anderson uh, checked out then. And there's a goal here, surely, for Brazil. They've just walked it in, as they sometimes do, to great effect. Where well, they're playing the right tune this afternoon. Brilliant goal again from Brazil. Portugal pay the price. They conceded possession. And once you give the ball away to Brazil, you're always in trouble. Manuel Tobias got things going here. Anderson also involved. And with the goalkeeper out and committed, Manuel Tobias unselfishly provided Indu with a chance to score his first goal of the afternoon. And that was a brilliant save by Nana. Just have another look at the goal, but there are problems here for Portugal. Nana, the goalkeeper there, took a, a fairly hefty whack as... Yuan came charging through, Nana having made the original save. <laughs> Tripping atmosphere now around El Domo. The Guatemalan band are playing. We can hear the Brazilian samba beat ringing out. Less than three minutes remain now. The 
Vito has won the kick in here for Portugal. Mayo with a shot, took a deflection off Joanne. Portugal looking very tired, they're making more and more errors. Joanne looks very fresh though for Brazil. Joanne, Mano Tobias has made a great crossfield run for him. And that was a hefty challenge by Anderson on Mayo. Foul count is now four against Brazil in this second half. Mayo back on his feet and over the free kick. Tegueda. Now Zezita. Cleverly done that by Nelito. Shot. Didn't touch anybody. Mayo has come across more in hope than expectation of maybe being given the corner. Brazil, by their own high standards, have been a bit sloppy in defence at times during the second phase of these championships. Conceded four against Egypt, a goal against Argentina, who perhaps gave them their hardest game, and then two against Russia, but far more determined and purposeful against Portugal. Although Portugal will look at a couple of wasted opportunities in the first half, particularly when it was goalless, and Andrea wrapped a shot against the crossbar. It was a different story once Brazil had taken the lead. Back come Portugal. Rogério just scooping the ball forward towards Nelito. Hindu. Anderson. Manuel Tobias. Oh, fabulous finish. You just knew it had to happen at some stage. Another brilliant goal by Manuel Tobias. Clinical finishing, lethal finishing. They just couldn't pick him up. He's so elusive. And when presented with a free shot at goal from there, he is unstoppable. Brazil are unstoppable. Brazil lead by seven goals to nil. We have just over a minute remaining. Can they get more goals? Indu. This time they can't pick out Joanne. Nicely done by Mayo, but he's unable to keep the momentum of the move going. Two goals in this game now for Manuel Tobias. 18 goals so far in the championship, 13 assists. A phenomenal record. He was top scorer in 96 with 14 goals. Brazil have scored more goals than they did in 96. Manuel Tobias has scored more goals than he did then. 19 he's got in total. Two in this game. Anderson now. Chance for Anderson. And Indu. It's Anderson who will take the credit for the goal, and deservedly so. It's up to eight. They've really shared the goals around. They've shared the workload around. Well, I don't know if he really intended that, but a double exchange of passes there between Indu and Anderson. This was the one that he didn't seem to get right. Oh, that was intended, no doubt about that. Indu to flick the ball on. They just enjoy playing the game, they enjoy coming forward, and here they've been rewarded now with another goal. It's 8-0. Manuel Tobias, can they get another one? Clock stops with 5.8 seconds remaining. Anderson. It's all over. It's all over. Brazil, the three times world champions, 
are on their way to the final again. Thumbs up there from the coach, Bander, who three times has been a winning captain. He's now taken over from Tay Cow, who's watching in the stands here as an official FIFA observer. Tay Cow will be mightily pleased with Bander's achievement now, taking Brazil through to their fourth world final. They're the dominant force in futsal. He's the dominant force out on the pitch. Two goals here for Manuel Tobias. The main worry, though, an injury to Schumacher. Schumacher, who broke a finger. He's been one of the star performers for Brazil in these championships. He faces surgery on that injury. Brazil will anxiously wonder if he can make Sunday's final here in El Domo. It promises to be a magnificent occasion, no matter what. It's a repeat of the final back in 1996. It'll be Brazil against Spain. And the outcome of this second semi-final, quite convincing really, it finished Brazil 8, Portugal 0.